Hey everybody, I'm Ray. And I'm Paul. And I'm Ray's brother. Jared. <laughs> and we are the Alchemists. And today we head down to the US of A to Wisconsin. So Ray, why don't you give us a tale of tape on this beer? All right, today, so as Paul mentioned from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Lakefront Brewery, we've got Newgrist, Pilsner style beer, and it's gluten free. It's 5.1% ABV, and I think it's gonna taste like crap. Well, that's a, a strong opinion to start with. Well, let's crack these babies up and let's find out what we have inside these bottles. Yep, they're not twist off. They're not twist. So this is made with rice. It's gluten free because there's no barley or malt in this. It, it looks kinda, like ginger ale. It looks like, yeah, it looks like a cider almost. It's like water. It's kind. It kind of smells like a cider. It does actually. Gluten free, let's try this out. Cheers, right. Jared. Cheers. Cheers, Ray. Cheers. Oh my gosh, it tastes like flat ginger ale. It does. I feel like I should be home at, in bed, like sick, <laughs> drinking ginger ale. And eating crackers, saltines. <clears throat> I'm watching the prices, right? You're right, the, the ginger ale taste is there. Carbonated, but not overly carbonated. I would almost think this is a non-alcoholic beer. It doesn't even look like a beer. No. It's so pale and it's like they put food like coloring flat. to make it just look like beer. Looks like a bubbly urine sample. It's more cidery no. taste than anything. Yeah. It says sediment may occur from natural ingredients. It really tastes like a cider. Is it me? Yeah. No, it does. It's no, it does. It, like I don't know. It doesn't even have the bite of a ginger beer. You know what I mean? Like, but it, it's really a flat ginger ale. That's what I'm getting. Do we know what sorghum is? That's one of the ingredients. Sorghum. <laughs> sorghum is a cereal <laughs> grain that's widely produced around the world. Its whole grain is commonly used in baking, while its syrup is used as a sweetener. There it is. Uh, Finally, okay. it's used as a natural fuel source. <laughs> you can run your car on it? It's going to give me gas for sure. Now, I guess if you are an individual who's allergic to gluten, that uh, half a percent of the world? Yeah, something like then that. I yeah. guess uh, this would be something that you can drink as a beer substitute or a substitute for you know, malts and barley. Yeah. Generally, the good stuff that's in beer. I think if this were marketed as a malt beverage rather than a pilsner style beer it was not I malt think, malt is malt's a grain i know but it tastes like a malt beverage yeah but that would defeat the purpose of being yeah. gluten free yes i don't have much of an opinion on this it's weird i don't know if, if someone gave this to me I'd be like ah oh, i don't want a cider i would not want a second one of these no in my opinion this is definitely not beer well you know what though in their defense it just does say on here alcoholic beverage it doesn't say beer it says Pilsner style alcoholic beverage. It, does, it doesn't really taste like Pilsner. It's l extremely light looking. Like that does look like a urine sample. If I had to empty out my uh, my my sack of pee and make it into something I can make money out of, this beer. <laughs> Sorry, you know you guys should have just stuck to cheese. Cheese, Wisconsin, Wisconsin. Oh uh, yes. You know the cheese heads, yeah. and we're not talking about down here, yeah. or are we? Are we? Is that what you guys called the cheese heads? All right. Go Green Bay. I gotta pee. All right. <laughs> do, do, oh, do, here, take your glass with you. You can have a refill. <laughs> you can refill it, yeah. yeah it's <laughs> your, your beer is recyclable. Do, 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 do. Now it's just starting to taste like water as I drink it, but not good it, water. It really is less flavorful It's getting as you drink it. It's like the flavor is going away. And I know now it's more apple juice, to be honest with you. It does I'm, taste yeah, cider. Apples, there's apples. Yeah, now, yeah, for ap sure. And absolutely. I don't know if I'm throwing this into your heads, but it really no. does taste like a freaking cider. You can throw whatever you want in my head, man. Don't tip. That's <laughs> weird. <laughs> oh. What? A little sticker from a Royal Gala apple. I think that should probably be on there. Why the <laughs> Do you it just, have it an just apple happened, It happened to be in my shirt pocket in your pouch. somehow. I don't know. Do you you had an apple sticker in your pouch. Yeah, I was probably eating an apple and I popped it off and I just stuck it in there because I didn't want to throw it on the ground. Because, you know, heaven forbid we clean apples before we eat them. I do wash them. I probably missed you wash the, them with the sticker. I probably missed the sticker when I washed it. Well, technically you can eat the sticker. You can't. It's food grade. No. Yeah. No. The stickers are, all stickers on, on fruits are food yeah. grade. Yeah. You can eat them. They may have sugar. You can, but should you? Ray, eat it. Eat the sticker. No, it's been in my shirt for a while. I don't know what else is on it. Eat the sticker. Your shirt's food grade. <laughs> my shirt is not food grade. It did. It had a food grade sticker <laughs> on it. I don't know. With a Wisconsin accent? Can I'm you do a Wisconsin accent? What's a Wisconsin accent? accent? What, is what is a Wisconsin, Wisconsin accent? It's kind of a whiny... If we have any fans in <laughs> Wisconsin, please forward us immediately. What does a Wisconsin accent it's sound like? It's almost like a whiny Boston accent. 
to see this. The Google ads are up, so pay for the extra. Can it go on the Alconax bill? I'm not paying for it. For no ads? It's only 14 seconds. We would be in so much debt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just put it on our bill. <laughs> no. It's like a Buffalo accent with a Canadian accent thrown into it. That's a Buffalo accent. Well, yeah, I didn't hear Buffalo at all. Uh, I don't know. I got kind of that. You know, when you go down the Skijakwood Expressway, Expressway to go to Cheektowaga and Lackawanna. Hey, you know, with Lackawanna... If you change all the A's to E's, it's Leaky Weenie. If back. you subscribe to our Alkanauts Depends subscription program, <laughs> we will send you two Depends underwear per month. That's really? right. Inside, outside, fold them up, wipe it all around. And you can't pay for inside, premium outside, YouTube? No. And you're going to send free Depends. You know how much no, they cost? Say, no, that's no a, that's I don't subscription. either. I'm asking. Subscription. No, it's a subscription. Oh, they have to send oh, us money and we send them stuff. Yeah. Every month. Uh, yes. Yes, two so one hundred dollars a month, you get two free depends. I was gonna say two dollars and fifty cents, but hey, a hundred dollars sounds way better. Yeah, absolutely. See, this is why we're not making money. It's exactly. Driven. We need this guy here. Yeah, because I'm the smart one. He's the he's MLM a, boss. He, yeah, he's the MLM boss. <laughs> <laughs> Those things. What's your yeah. favorite donut? Round. Apple fritter. Apple fritter. Apple fritter. It's not a donut. Uh, it is a donut. It's just uh, a chunk of dough with apples. That's in it. it. Yeah, it's not. They're very good. Do okay. I, I found sour it. cream glazed. Mm. Ooh. That's, mm. oh, that's, mm. that's showing your age. Yeah? yeah, that's an old person. They're good. <gasps> Why are you even reviewing beers? All right, I think it is time for the chug. Ray, just explain the rules. Count us down. All right, I'm going to count down from three to two to one, and I'm going to say go. When I say go, we're going to throw these back, and Paul's cheating. Here we go. Beat you, fucker. Anyways, Jared, yeah. give us your opinion on this uh, alcoholic beverage. Yeah, I'm not going to drink this again. That's uh -huh. the, really, I got nothing else to say. It starts out like flat ginger ale and moves on to flat apple juice. If there could be flat apple juice, I don't know. I know off the top I said I think I'm going to hate it. I didn't actually hate it. I dislike it. I would not buy it again. It tastes like a cider. It feels like a cider. And uh, the flavor just seems to die down as you go. I don't seem to get anything out of it aside from the fact that it's alcoholic. Um, for those who have a gluten allergy, feel free to buy this stuff up because there's going to be plenty around. I'm not going to buy another six pack of this. I uh, probably won't buy this again. I don't think I could recommend this to anybody. And with that being said, I am Paul. I'm Ray. I'm Ray's brother. Jared. <laughs> and we are the Alconauts. Cheers all. <laughs>